one of the very first labor leaders that attended our picket line on that very cold Monday, that very snowy Monday, and actually needed to have a toque from me because he forgot to bring one. Uh, but I was proud to have him wearing a CAW Local 27 toque, who has spoke up on our behalf, who is speaking on behalf of workers in the province of Ontario, who is becoming a great leader of the Ontario Federation of Labour, Brother Sid Ryan. So, sisters and brothers, I want to bring you greetings on behalf of the Ontario Federation of Labour. Standing with me is Nancy Hutchinson, the new Secretary Treasurer, and Erwin Nanda, the new Executive Vice President. And we're so proud of the turnout here today. 15,000 workers from 54 unions across this great province have come to London today to stand in solidarity with CAW 27. You've come today, my friends, to send a signal to Harper. What you're saying to Harper is that we're sick and tired of the corporate greed that exists in corporate Canada here today. And that Caterpillar has now become the poster child for corporate greed in this country and indeed around the world. And we're saying that we want to see a different economic model, a model that distributes the wealth in a far more equitable way than what it is today. It is not acceptable to say to workers who earn 35 bucks an hour that overnight your wages is going to be cut to 16. That's not acceptable in our country here today. And at the same time, at the same time, we have to say to Harper, as been said by many folks before me, that we've got to have a net benefit to Canadians, and surely to God that must mean a net benefit to workers. It must mean that you have the ability to have a decent standard of living, such that you can retire with dignity. And if you want to put your kids into university, you should be able to set aside a small amount of money to make certain that your kids get a post-secondary education so they can participate in this climate. Well, my friends, but we also have a Liberal government, and I know we've got some Liberal friends here today, but I want to send them a signal as well. It's time that we balance the Labour Relations Act in this country. Bring in, bring in anti-scab legislation. Give us an opportunity. Give us an opportunity to have the ability to have a fair fight when we go to the bargaining table. The Labour Relations Act has been turned against workers in this country. And it's incumbent upon the Liberal government to bring us in that anti-scab legislation such that we're not threatened at a bargaining table. And then finally, finally I want to say to Caterpillar, if you think you're taking equipment out of this plant, by God, you better think twice. Because the Labour movement, the Labour movement is awakening in this country. The Labour movement is finally saying, we've got some fight left in us, my friends. And we've got to come together both outside of this province and across this country. And we got to say to workers, the only way you can fight this agenda is to stand together. And every time we see this kind of an agenda creeping onto our bargaining tables, whether it be in the city of Toronto, whether it be in the private or the public sectors, when it's time that workers stood together, my friends, like we're doing here today, Let's link arms with the Occupy movement and the Labour movement. And let us 